Hello, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate you. In today's video, I want to share with you a very easy way that I go about removing the backgrounds from the images that I use to build my tattoo designs. If you have any questions about anything that you see or hear throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social media medias under the same name as this YouTube channel, I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. If you enjoy my content and find my channel helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. I'm going to start at the absolute top here. So let's imagine the design is going to have a rose in it. So I'm going to start with a rose. So that's where I want to begin by building this design. Where I am at right now is I have an 8.5 by 11 canvas right here. It is completely blank and stock, just the one stock layer that comes up by default when we start a new session within Procreate. In order to start importing images and start building, there's a couple of ways that we can do that. Before this demonstration, how I'm gonna go about bringing in an image is gonna be a little bit different and this is exactly how I'm gonna go about removing the background as well again this is the easiest method that I found to remove backgrounds it's worked for me it doesn't work for every single image but about a high let's say 90% maybe 90 95% of images that I come across to build my designs are able to be extracted from this method right here. What I'm gonna wanna do is from here, I'm gonna swipe up right here and you're gonna see it brings up this bar. From here, I'm going to drag my photos icon over here to the side. That's how I'm going to approach it. As you can see, I have a row selected from my camera row and this is from my camera row. What I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna want to find somewhere on the rows and then I'm going to select hold it basically down like so and you're going to notice that it creates a little ripple effect there as you saw from here what i can do is just simply drag and drop into here and it literally is that easy i can also go about resizing turning should i need to do so you get the idea behind that that is how i go about removing the backgrounds from images so i can begin building tattoos you can see we have a different design right here just find a sweet spot within the design, drag and drop, and you can see we've imported and then size to your liking. If you need to turn it, go ahead and do so. You get the idea behind that. I'm sure a lot of us wanna know if it works with more advanced designs. Here I have this warrior type of design right here. I'm gonna find a sweet spot here, and I'm just going to repeat that process resize to my liking. And as you can see, yes, it does. It does work with more detailed and advanced designs. It all really depends on the original quality of the artwork that we're bringing in. Here's where things get a little bit tricky. Allow me to mute these layers right here. Let's say if I wanted to extract this image right here, as you can see, there is a lot of contrast and saturation going on right here. There's a lot of blacks within the design as well as the background. I'm gonna find a sweet spot as best I can here. And you can see though, upon bringing it in and importing it, it's also going to extract a lot of the background. So that's what I mean. It really just depends on the design that we are trying to extract from whatever image. I would encourage you to select well lit designs that don't have too much noise within the background. So that's like animals without all of the trees and grass in the background, maybe more so sky, something to this extent. So try to cho choose images with less background noise and good lighting. Here's a a fantastic example of what I'm trying to explain here so here's an image that has great lighting and we can tell the difference between the main focus and the background so there's not too much noise if I select a spot here on the design and I bring it on over or the part of the image that I want to be the design I select that area I can bring it in and resize to my liking as you see me doing here so from here I can begin to gather different elements and begin to build a custom-made design based around the clients wants and needs here's another good example of what I'm trying to demonstrate and the power of extracting information from certain images to build a full tattoo design which is essentially what I'm doing right here real time in this video with you all I'm just gonna select a random spot here and I'm going to kind of repeat this process over and over with different images so we can see here that I brought in a lowrider type of car I'm just going to start 
composing these images in a way that I feel best fit the client's wants and needs. So I'm gonna be using my imagination for this part right here. With Procreate's power, I can use different images here and layer them and size them to my liking as best as I can to my ability here. And this is for everyone. We can all use Procreate in this manner right here. I can repeat this process until I've gathered enough elements to kind of mix, match, and compose as I see fit. So one thing that I would recommend doing is not necessarily trying to compose immediately, but more so getting elements that you feel would be good in the tattoo at hand. Kind of just want to select anywhere and then kind of go from there. If it doesn't work, select another spot, go for the lighter points if it's not registering. You'll have to kind of just mess with it on your end as every image is different. So I can't tell you exactly where to select, unfortunately. So I've collected different elements by removing the background so that way I can compile and compose as I see fit. And this is the design that I came up with for the client. And keep in mind, we are using our imagination here, but overall I do feel like this would actually be a fun tattoo to actually do as well. This is what I was able to accomplish by removing the backgrounds. I was able to work with these specific elements in a manner that I wouldn't have by simply scrubbing it out. And also scrubbing it out is never truly accurate and it also takes a lot of time. So. I just felt like I should make a video, cover the basis on this, and kind of share with you all and show you all how you can go about using your iPad and procreate to your advantage. I'm now at the stage where I can convert these images into lined images so that way I can begin applying this tattoo. I do have a full in-depth video where I share with you all the process that I take to turn images into line images so that way you don't have to line it by hand if you don't want to do so. This is what the design looks like when we convert it to a line stencil. If you do want to line it by hand and capture more details to each their own, it is truly up to you. As you are the artist that is going to be tattooing the tattoo at hand. This is how we can go about removing backgrounds from our images. This is how we can go about creating tattoo designs quicker, easier, with more dynamics within our compositions. Now, if you have any questions yet again, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel at Daniel Yuck. I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, thank you for your time. I appreciate you tuning in. You have a great day.